welcome back. So here we are going to go and add a couple more layers. So uh, like I was saying, I, I want to go and add some snow to the top of these things. Um, I want to kind of clean up some of the grass stuff here. I want to add some more sediment um, effects and some younger you know, foliage, or at least younger looking foliage from a color standpoint um, in these canyon areas. So uh, let's take care of the foliage and the grass stuff. So one thing with the, the grass layer is I'm not a big fan of it just fading off like that. It makes it feel just fake. Um, it's great, you know, as a starting point. But one thing I, I really want to do is just clean that up. So um, what I'm going to do is drop down a noise, a mask noise, so height field mask noise. All right, and I'm going to wire in the results of this node right here into that and turn on the results. Okay, and then what I want to do is I want to go and multiply that. So I'm just going to multiply it over the current one and then change the size of it quite a bit. Because what I want to do is I want to affect the edge of this a bit better. I don't want it just to be a straight gradient. All right, so let's go and just increase the amplitude a little bit. Not that much. Now let's do like 1.2. Yeah, something like that. So maybe two will be fine. Yeah, it just makes it feel a little bit more organic. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. And then what I want to do is I want to grab the original one. So let's let's do a layer node. So we'll do height field layer. There we go. And I'm going to take the output of the original and the new one with the, the noise on it. And I just want to add on. So let's add on those two. And I, again, I don't want the wild card. I just want to affect the mask. So I just type in mask for that layers. And there you go. So what it's done is it's basically gone and added on that effect for us. So what we can do now is we can also scale this um, as well. So we can really start to affect, you know, how that looks. So it's not just a straight gradient. All right. And so let's, let's see what happens here when we start to mess around with some of this stuff. Let's do our keep our final layer scale and change our our base here. Yeah, so just I would recommend just messing with these until you get comfortable with it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so we basically just you know made a nice little effect for the edge. All right, so let's take a look at that. So I'm just gonna pump that out as the final result there. And then go up one level. There you go. So now you can see, you know, it's better. It's it's not just a straight gradient. So much more realistic. Cool. All right. So let's go and add in the younger foliage in these canyon areas where, you know, they have access to water more. Okay. So again, I'm just going to copy this grass layer here so I can utilize all the work that I have previously done. And I'm going to wire it in from the previous subnetwork. And I'm just going to call this the young grass, I guess. So young grass layer. And we're going to go and dive inside. Now, if you're constantly getting this uh, result here where it's constantly trying to redo the, um, the COP network, you can always close down the composite view. And it won't be trying to update the, the view anymore at the same time as the, the terrain. So uh, it just makes it move a little faster. Uh, you can also drop the resolution on the, the landscape itself. All right, so with that, we now have the young grass layer. Now, what I want to do with this one, let me jump in here. We pretty much don't need a lot of this stuff, but I'm just going to push it off to the side just in case. So uh, what I want to do is actually mask by occlusion. So in this case, what I'm looking for is a feature node. Yep, mask by feature. Okay, and for this one, what I want to do is mask by occlusion. So I'm going to turn off the slope and turn on occlusion there. All right, and you can see right off the bat, we get the inverse of occlusion, which is always, I always found kind of funny. Um, and so uh, you could always go with, into the height ramp and just change the ramp. So that way, let's do that again. So let's just select this guy and set the value to zero. And let's put this guy over here to one. There we go. All right, that's what I usually would expect it to start with, but whatever. That's an easy enough uh, fix right there. So what I want to do is just keep increasing this minimum occlusion right here until I get a, enough of a, 
a result. Uh, you can also go and change where this particular guy starts to get it to spread a little bit more. Now, what, I want, what I'm looking for here is I just want to have a lot of the these areas where we know there's a lot of water and stuff like that. I just want to make it so that the grass looks a little younger. So I'm really just going to you know, colorize it a little bit differently. All right. And so I also want it so that, you know, it's only where grass areas are. So that's one thing we're going to need. So let's actually, let's actually do this. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff right here. And I'm just going to cut that. So I can just hold down the Y key, hold down the left mouse button and drag. Okay. Helps you get rid of wires really quick. So I'm going to go and uh, do a copy layer. So let's go and do height field copy layer like so. And I want to say I'm going to get the grass layer. All right, because I basically want to combine it. So I want to cut out all the areas where there isn't any grass from my occlusion map here. Okay, so let's do a layer. So height field layer node This is where we can blend everything together. So I want to pull in the occlusion and then pull in my grass like so. And we also need to set this guy up too. So I want to get the grass from here. So let's hit the little drop down here get the grass and then pass that into the mask like so there we go cool so I basically want to make it so that you know this um, masks out this this result right here cool so we just come down here and again we can just do a really quick subtract so let's do a subtract and set this to mask only and it looks like we might need to invert it let's try a uh, multiply actually that might actually be better. Yeah, I like that better. Let's keep that one because it'll also kind of add some other younger grass in these areas too. It'll just really help break up the uniform color. All right, cool. I'm going to call that good. All right, so let's put down a copy layer node here like so. We're going to take the current mask and pass this into young grass. And we need just a single name. So let's just call this Y grass. <laughs> All right, let's do that. And we'll pass that into the, the null node there. Cool. So let's go and jump back into our cop network. Now, what I'm going to do is just uh, keep the scene view up. I'm not going to open up the composite view because I can just, you know, watch it update in here. So it'll be a little bit faster. All right, so let's grab the grass color and the grass layer and do an alt drag to copy those guys. And let's rewire in that background and get this all set up again. Hopefully this is becoming familiar to you now. All right, so let's call this the young grass color. Very cool. And the young grass layer. And there we go. So now let's uh, go and make sure we get our new planes. So let's go and set planes from SOP. And there we go. We have our Y grass. Very cool. And we should actually just set those guys there. There we go. All right. So let's mask this out with the Y grass. And then let's just make the younger grass a little brighter, a little more greener. Yeah, something like that. So to get it to update, um, just move the, the scene view. It's too bad it's not real time yet. I'm sure they'll get it there. But yeah, see how it just breaks up that uniform color a little bit more. So wherever it's closer to a stream or one of these valleys, um, it's just a little brighter. We can even change the saturation maybe. Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, so I'm digging that. Cool, so I'm going to leave you guys leave it there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and add on some snow now. All right, so let's go and do that. Basically, you know, the same process. This one's going to be pretty easy as well. Uh, the more you, you start diving into details, the more you start, you know, simplifying the process here because you have so much data already created. All right, let's just call this the snow layer. And jump inside and let's get rid of these guys. I don't need those. All right, so what do we want to do here? So I know, let's just get rid of these guys here. I know I want to do some sort of height feature like that. So let's just go and get this masked out by height. 
And let's compute the range and let's set the min height to zero and get rid of that stuff like so. And we'll invert it as well, just like so get just the, the tops. And I'm gonna actually pull that in quite a bit and then pull it down. Not so far. We just really want this on the, the very top peaks. Just to indicate it's you know pretty big mountain, high elevation. There we go. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so we'll do that. And again, I'm probably gonna, let's actually mask this out. So we'll just call this the height mask. And let's drop down some noise just so we can munge up the, the borders a bit more. So we'll do a mask noise. Like so, we'll do a multiply. And we're gonna change the element size. There we go. And then let's do a layer. Let's add those two together again. So we'll do an add and set the layers to mask only. And then let's do a, an offset. And just really change that subtly. So let's do something like this. There we go. And then maybe change that scale a little bit more. Yeah, I think that'll work for now. Just kind of breaks it up a little bit. Cool. All right, so that's our snow layer. So let's do that. And let's just make sure to go to our copy layer and say the mask now is equal to snow. Very cool. We'll pass this into our final null node down there, and then we'll go into our cop network and just do the same process. And this time I'm just going to, you know, add some white color in there. And let's just wire that in like so. Let's set this guy over here. Call this the snow layer. And the snow color. Change this to a white or grayish. And we'll make sure to get our new planes. Very cool. And make sure we add it to the snow. And there we go. And we got a really weird result there. That's pretty funny. I wonder if I, so every once in a while, you might want to just clear this out. So let me remove that and put it back in. Nope. Well, the texture itself is fine. It's just the display. I wonder if we changed it back to our lighting. Nope. Weird bug. But anyways, so now we have uh, snow on top of our mountain up here. Looking all pretty cool. You can always go back and change the... Let's do this. Let's see if I change the mask, if it helps our rendering bug that we're getting there. So let's go and just play around with some of these values a little bit more. See what else we can get. Maybe, yeah. Uh, let's go back and out. Nope. Oh, it's making it worse. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. All right, so, well, uh, you can see that we now have snow on top of our mountains. Very cool. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys there. I'm going to take a look at this bug over here. I think it's, I just need to restart Houdini. All right, and so what we're going to do in the next lecture is walk through the process of exporting all these layers out so we can use them in our game engines. Okay, thanks so much.